Okay, this is another case of uh, we're doing a phone washout sclerotherapy. We have treated a very large uh, caliber uh, proximal, uh, great saphenous vein with uh, endovenous laser ablation using the radial laser 1470 nm. That was six, uh, eight days ago. Now, the distal part are very large branches, especially the accessory branch that. Uh, is uh, travels uh, posteriorly and merges with short saphenous at mid calf, creating a 12 millimeter varicosity that goes to posterolateral left ankle. The proximal short saphenous is normal, so we have put a mark here during the injection. We will manually compress that. We'll manually compress the great saphenous vein here. So we will do foam washout of these large varicose vein, zigzag vein that's here try to wash it with foam and get the foam out. This improves the safety of doing foam sclerotherapy where uh, foam does not have much chance of getting in deep veins and we have not seen any case of visual disturbance or neurologic uh, temporary disturbances since for the last two years I'm doing foam washout sclerotherapy. Okay, so the proximal part as I mentioned, the greater saphenous vein is already closed on top. So a little manual compression here, and then a manual compression is ready here to block the short saphenous vein. And we start doing the foam. Can you show here? Uh, you see, as I'm injecting, the foam is traveling through that large zigzag vein and doing the end of uh, endothelial damage which just needs few seconds we don't need to leave foam in the system to close this segment of the so we are doing a very segmental uh, selective segmental treatment and the foam has no chance to go anywhere else this way all right so uh, so this method is applicable to many different situations in and uh, when we are dealing with varicose veins and now most probably the point of uh, why we don't see any a visual disturbance is most likely this syringe has the endothelins with those are vasoactive substances that are created from endothelial damage it's there already in this syringe and it's gonna be dumped in trash that's why in for about 2,000 cases I've done we have not seen one case of uh, any distant or delayed uh, complications short or uh, I mean immediately after treatment or a few days later and another thing we see much less trapped blood in this vein when we do this vein and much less uh, rate of uh, hyperpigmentation of skin when we remove this foam somehow this could be explained later the mechanism for this I hope thank you